The early 2000s was a pretty weird time, and Not Weirdest of All was a fake reality TV show from 2002 called The Joe Schmo Show. The idea for the show just being to trick one man into believing it was real. Hire a bunch of actors, put him in ridiculous scenarios, and haha, he looks pretty silly. But that's not really what happened, since the guy they tried to play the trick on was actually pretty cool and heartfelt. Now we've already watched five episodes on this channel, and today I made the decision to put the last three episodes, including the finale, into this video. I spoil you really. So without further ado, Let's finish the Joe Schmo show. Here we go. Today's a very special day here in the lap of luxury. It's double trouble day. Uh oh. Which means two things. The good news is that today, two people will be gaining immunity. The bad news is, two housemates will be evicted. Okay. Also, I have some news. I received this that I need to read to you. To Ralph Garman from the Lap of Luxury Legal Department regarding Steve Hutchinson's eviction from Lap of Luxury. Mr. Garman, please convey the following decision to the Lap of Luxury participants. We have reviewed the tapes and have determined that the conduct in question fails to establish prima facie case of assault, nor does it constitute a material breach of contract with appropriate notice and opportunity to cure. I knew as soon as Ralph started reading it, the letter, just because I had spent a brief time at law school that I knew exactly oh. what the letter meant. Basically, what it means is this. <clears throat> the hutch is back in. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it meant? So they kicked him off the show last time, and they said the reasoning was because he kept threatening Kip, so their legal department kicked him out. So then he got his lawyers, this is all fake, he got his fake lawyers to then get him back on the show. Crazy, what a plot twist, wow. They really keep you guessing on this show. The ha, ha, house. I am back, I am back, and I am not leaving. The decision made by the producers is Due to legal issues that really are no point in getting into here, Hutch has been reestablished in the house and in the Oh, he's getting right into it. The producers planned this letter because Matt went to law school and uh, basically said, in translation, what that means is, and that's when I ran out. Hutch is back. Hutch has legal representation, FYI. It's crazy because, like, the fake show they have is you vote off who you like the least, so he's just going to get voted off again, unless they make him win immunity, I guess. It was unfair, and it's right there in that letter. That's if you right. have we any question, you can read it. it. Welcome back. All right, cool. cool. So that's all the news for now. Kip, Matt, see you guys chill. at the next competition. All right, sorry, cool. I got to point so out, what the, the news fuck for now? is our boy Matt eating here? Is that just a mayo blob on a sandwich? That's concerning me. Kip, dude. I'll see you guys at the next competition, okay? Bam! Hutch is back off of some technicality and they had to like write up this, like this perfect lawyer speak letter. So because, you know, Matt's a smarty. So he bought it. A prima facie Seems case. Seems a little there, Kip. Well, in order to like, you know, bring certain charges or like, you know, like say someone, you know, hits you or something like that, like, you need to have enough evidence that where the case, like, on its face, stand on its own. I'm very all lawyer, the time. very smart. We're all even as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but dude, no one's, they're not. Mm. <laughs> it was a little easier with you gone. Because mm. the tension, some of the tension was released. Yeah. Honestly, that's true. But <laughs> if you're, dude, believe me, whatever, if that was wrong, like, I don't want you out of here if, you're not out of here legitimately. You know what I mean? Yes. Matt's like surprisingly good with words because he kind of looks a little dopey and like I think people think he's kind of dumb, but he actually is like pretty well-spoken when it comes down to like saying what he thinks without stepping on toes. And that's what I was my whole beef. Yeah. Like if you're out, legitimately fine. If not, then it's not as good. You know what I mean? When Hutch, you know, came back in to lunch, I think instantly a lot of us realized that a lot of that drama and his immaturity was back. <laughs> What's up? Oh, hey, oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I meant to throw it in. I'm sorry. I mean, I like Ricky Cricket, the actor, but I actually was kind of hyped when he was kicked off last time. I was like, yes. I'm actually kind of interested how the show progresses without him. Throw it just threw your food at my face. I'm sorry. On, I meant to throw I hit my in. face with your food. I'm sorry. Dude, that's just dumb, Hutch. You want the money, don't you? Yes. Well, then why would you do that? Like, I I'm throwing it at Brian. The director assured me that uh, I would never have to eat anything nasty. 
because um, I have a, a well-documented gag problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <Chocolate>. <laughs> yeah. Today's pampering competition. I'm the same way. I hate gross food so much. Is a challenge for your taste buds. That's why we call this pampering competition. I'm out. A we, meal you take that the fuck back. I'll kill you. For today, if everyone eats a piece of the course they're served, then each one of you will receive a 42-inch flat-screen television set. Simple enough, right? Yes. Can we have dish number one, please? Thank you. Ryan, this first dish can be picked up at a Texas barbecue or on the side of the road. Feast your eyes on armadillo tails. <laughs> okay, so... So they said he's not gonna eat gross food, so are they gonna just not give him gross food? Or are they just lying to him? <laughs> Prepared some lovely armadillo tail for you. That actually kinda looks not that bad. I might chomp one of those suckers down. That doesn't look that bad. Look at me right now. Which I want you to do. I want you to count to five. Okay. Hold your nose and suck that thing down right now. Start. Just don't even think about it. <laughs> Hold it, hold it in, get it down, swallow that water. It's like a spirit guide through this. You did amazing. Let me see, let me see. Wow. You got it. You did awesome. If I try DMT, I want Matt Gould there walking me through it. Dish number two, please. Molly, the Arctic is known for its frigid temperature. So it's no surprise. I love this when the actors actually have to get involved and do stuff, because like they're actually eating gross ass food. I present to you Whale Blubber. Okay, Molly. Ugh. I'm out now, but you can do it. No problem. I like how they make the dish look all fucking presentable and nice too on the outside. Now that looks gross. Whale blubber. God made that, all right? You can do it, no problem. Close your nose and just. You don't have to eat the garnish, but you do have to eat yourself a piece of that whale blubber. Not a problem. Do what he said. <laughs> No, she has to eat a piece. Oh, you can eat in several bites if you want. Go, go, just chew. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Relax. Relax. Water, 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 water. Just swallow it. Just swallow it. Come on. You got it. What's the phobia of seeing people throw up? What's that one called? I don't have that. I got gag phobia. If I see someone gag, it makes me gag. I could watch someone throw up. Oh, me? I could watch someone throw up. Watching gag, though, that's a little bit different. And get your mind out of the gutter. I know what you're thinking. You want me to make a joke? Get your mind out of the gutter. I specifically mean with food. Please, Molly, go. Shut up. She got it. Wow. Yes. Yes. Very impressive. Yes. Dish number three, please. Can we skip me and come back? Like, oh, up? I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You ready, kid? <coughs> Thank you very much. Oh God. It's the rarest member of the sheep family. Oh, good to know. And believe me, Kip, this dish looks as good as it tastes. Cleanse your palate with mouflon eyeballs. Or if there's like a human penis. What the fuck's a wolf line? Oh, sheep. He did say sheep. Listen. I cannot. Listen. This, guys. Listen. Calm down. <laughs> he has such conviction in his eyes. Just take a second. Don't stare at them. Take some deep breaths. I want you to hold your nose and chew it as fast as you can and suck down some water. Can I swallow? Do I have to chew? Light it once and swallow. Bite it in half and just some, knock it down. Put some li lime on it or yeah, something. Yeah, salt that thing up. Take one bite, don't think about it, and suck oh, that like water. It's got the fucking like, cord attached to it still. Two, three, go. Go, chew, chew, chew. <laughs> oh, he covered. Oh, he spit it out. Get back in. Back in. It's okay. It's okay. Take your time now. You hate to have someone that gives you advice and then they can't even watch you do the thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, bro, you got it. You got it, dude. You got it. Shoot up a little bit. I think that thing has a tumor in it, bro. Listen. Oh, come man. on, Kit. Come on, Kit. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. Do it. God. Yeah, put the water. Good, good. Go. So when it gets to the mat, he's like not doing food. You're he's done. Done. Oh, it's over. That. It's over. Ah. Yeah! Oh, my God, oh, my God. Great job. Very animated. All right, Hutch. Nouveau Australian cuisine mixes native Australian foods with the Asian influences of the Pacific Rim. Say domo arigato, mate, to northern hairy-nosed wombat stomach. That's in ponzu sauce, too. Mm. Don't stare at it, Hutch. Don't Hutch, look at don't it. Don't stare wow. at it. Dude, he is everyone's guide. Even Hutch, who he hates, he's like, hey, man, we'll get through this. Damn. Cleanse the palate. Oh, come on, Hutch. Wombat stomach. Kill it, Hutch. 
I have to eat this whole thing. Do knock, it. Knock Kill it. Down, Don't Hutch. even think about it. Knock it down. Knock it down, Hutch. Knock Chew it, down. it and now water and swallow. Water, water and swallow. Water, water, water and water, swallow. Water, 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 water. water and swallow. Water and swallow. Water. Come on. Come on, bro. Oh, damn. Ricky's water going in. Do you eat all three before you get that out of your right cheek? Swallow. Get it all down. Just swallow it. Just swallow it. Do it, dude. Do it. Just swallow it. You're almost there. Oh, yeah. the wits. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Nice, man. That was awesome. You know, I didn't know I liked chicken until I was 23 years old because my mom made the chewiest, grossest chicken ever for dinner. I would always, I would put the chicken in my mouth and I would take milk and just swallow it. And I always thought that was what chicken tastes like. And then I learned I like chicken when it is cooked. We also ate milk with dinner. That's the kind of family we were. I don't drink milk with dinner anymore, but I did. It takes real balls to eat this South American face. Oh, don't say it's balls. The testicles of the Prince Barnard TT monkey. That's not bad. See, we're all like, that's disgusting, but there's a whole subculture of TikTok that will eat this every day. So who are we to judge? At all. No. That is not bad at all. I've seen the worst. <laughs> That's not bad at all, dude. What the fuck, really? Armadillo tail you were gagging at, but monkey testicles, you're like, that's easy. Light work. Slop those monkey testicles down my mouth right now. In fact, give me those monkey testes. Listen. Oh. Don't look at it. You You've sucked on them before. You now all you have to do it. is eat them. You can fight it. You're not helping us. I'll kill you. Listen, Ashley, Massage take it. some deep breaths. Cut it in half. Chew it a cut little. It. You know, for some reason, I actually don't want to cut it in half. I don't think cut the testicle in half is the right move. I would say go full testicle. Almost like an oyster, I would let it just go down, you know? That'll slide right down your throat, I'm telling you. No you chewing, exactly. I have full confidence in you and everywhere in the world, exotic dishes. You're gonna, you're gonna want to swallow that testicle for sure. <laughs> If you can get, if you can cut hey, is that, that real? and get half of it upset? down. Ashley, 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 go, 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 Keep going, keep going, swallow it, swallow it, just swallow it down. Just swallow it's it down. not going well. Just swallow it down. Not going well. Oh, she is convulsing. The worst part is over. The worst part is over. You got it. Oh, dude. Wow. Yes. Her body rejected that. I bet after all this, Matt's helped everybody. He's going to get some gross fees like, no, that's gross. I'm not doing that. This is for the television, everybody. Yes! Come on, Matt. You know it. You can do it. The last, final, meal number six. Bring it on in. Okay, Matt, for dessert, our world tour brings us right back to the good old U.S. of A. You can pick this dish up pretty much on any street. In fact, in some places, they'll fine you if you don't. Enjoy this fetching plate of canine feces. No, 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 no. Oh, they censored this with Hassan's face? Pretty much the same thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, he went there. Oh, zinger. Oh, god damn. Shit, I got heat. Don't step to me. That's a joke. Anyways, uh, so he's not gonna eat that, right? Oh, man. <laughs> No, 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 Oh no, my no, no, God, no, no, no. you know what? No way. Fuck that, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's not right. Wait, 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 there was like wait, a fly time flying time around it too. Time That's time disgusting. Time. Fucking ridiculous. We were all eating terrible, gross food, or so Matt thinks. It was extremely difficult not to laugh, and we did laugh. Oh, you fuckers. That was all fake? That was all fake food? Oh, you fuckers, they got me too. Oh, that's so lame. Oh, I thought they made him do it. That's so lame, that makes me upset. I believed all of it. God, maybe they are good actors, wow. And then they just give him a pile of shit? <laughs> <laughs> the hell's this show doing, dude? I mean, we okay. turned away from camera. We laughed in our napkins. We had to walk out of rooms. You can't do this show without breaking. Crap. Get it away! Get no, it no, away! No, no, no. This is fucking TV ridiculous. TV show is worth this. Wait, 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 wait a second. Oh, Hold no. on, I'll eat that There's shit. There's no way in uh, hell they're gonna serve me real dog feces. There's no way. Pick that up. No way. I just get it is. Cold. It is real. Uh, well, it's then no, it's like if it's real, like this game's over. You know what? There's no <laughs> way. Is there another oh, no, that food? That is that's that's ridiculous. Hold on, hold on. He's still there. I saw corn well, that's, in there. Yeah. Why don't you have the producer? Wouldn't that make this? him sick? I want to hear how the other food was faked. I need to see the process behind that because I don't believe. How could they do? They all look so real. Cool. It's going no just way. like we planned. That's, just that's stay just with it. Okay. Of. Go in there, Rhett, and set up the network executive scene and tell the actors we're about but, to start. 
I'll tell Ralph to stall until you get out there. Just go. Great. Well, then maybe he should. Yeah. Uh, you guys can talk to a ne network executive. I think that's a good idea. I think because I think these guys have earned their television sets and they deserve. Do with the director. We swallow all your stuff and then okay. you set up the last. All right. Yeah. Get it. That's not right. You want to go talk to this uh, network guy with me? I want to go. I'll go up with you. you. Yeah. Are you? We know this whole beat and it's planned out. And within about three seconds, the host goes. Oh, you won't eat it? Well, there happens to be a lawyer right upstairs ready to talk to you about it. Oh, he knows Matt law. Just... Hey, guys. Hey, Dave. How are you doing? Ralph, how are you? Good, man. Good to see Good you guys. Pleasure. David Matt, how are you? Of course. Hi. David Decker. Yeah, David Decker, CBP, Spike TV. Nice development. Yeah, you. nice to see you. Pleasure. Yeah, I heard good things about you. Okay. On the thanks. show. So, what's up? We got a problem with the meal game you guys came up with. Go ahead. Listen, sit down, Matt. Sit down. It's okay. Lay it on me. So, I came down to check things out. So, what's up? We got a problem, or what's the. But some of the other members of the house were a little concerned that. You know, we, we start up this game with the rare delicatessens. Yeah, and right. You begin with, you know, things like testicles and eyeballs, right. you know, right. which completely understandable, armadillo tails. Right. However, I think they have kind of feel um, a bit backdoored in that a lot of those other things are considered delicatessen or delicacies, whereas a canine feces wouldn't. I have to say, um, on my own behalf. Okay, I, again, he's great. He's. I said he was a good communicator. Does kind of sound like a kid right now. Or he kind of sounds like um, a frat guy giving a presentation in college. Like the words are just like trying to sound professional, but like they deeply don't want to. Like their body's rejecting saying it like they are. It sounds like he's trying to be a little more professional. Just say, dude, you tried to serve me dog shit. That's not cool. I don't want to eat it and I won't. But I don't think it's don't fair. Bring on up your part. It, it oh, no. certainly isn't is Matt's fault. And I know that's not what you want for the show either. So I thought I'd be kind of the, the bridge between you guys. And the <laughs> I don't force. Want to I'm sorry, Matt. One second. You're going to be the bridge and the go between and tell me how I should run a television production? Is that what it is? No, that's not at all. You're David. the host, right? So you're supposed to be hosting something. I'm on your thing. side here. I'm trying to get things going again. Yeah, it looks like it. It feels like it. Whose idea was it to, to come up here and, uh, and have a chat with me? I uh -oh. think I might have yeah. suggested talking to someone. Yeah, I appreciate your suggestions from oh, shit. Ryan Seacrest wannabe. But the issue that I have is we're doing a reality show, okay? Wannabe. Right. I mean, you get that, right? This. I mean, this I, is. I get that. Matt, this is not summer camp. He knows that we're anybody. Anybody. He's been you doing. I, are you too? This is not summer camp. We eat dog shit around here. Stop. Okay. I'm talking to Matt. I just appreciate you giving us the opportunity. No, to look, talk it's to fine. You. Look, we want to work with you guys. Everybody's working together to try to make a great show. Except you. Technically, we can hold you guys in violation of your contract, okay? I don't want to go that route because you've been a good guy. Stop. Stop a second. Please. Please don't put me in that. Don't pigeonhole me like that. Okay? Damn. I respect as well. Okay, again, here's the thing about Matt. I love it, all right? When there's confrontation, he doesn't back off, all right? He puts his foot down where his boundaries are. I'd love to see it. If you want to hold me in violation of my contract, please feel free to do so. That's not where I'm going. Now. Okay, but that's that is what you said. And it I'm doesn't... saying technically that's a route. We can... I'm trying to show you how I'm trying to work with you, okay? Okay. There's a lot going on. Look, all I'm saying to you is technically we could do that. We're not going to go that route. Here's what I'm going to do. What we have to do is then we have to come up with some alternative that they haven't seen on television before, okay? I need something else that is outrageous. Okay? I have to say, you know, I just have to be honest with you. Okay. You bringing up the fact about violation just infuriates me inside. It really uh, does. I'm not doing that. You don't always capable of. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go to I'm saying place. go there. If we're you're no. going to bring it up, we're not gonna go, go to do place. it. Don't, don't, like, I'm a guy from Pittsburgh. I'll go back. If you want to hold me in violation of my contract, but, like, that is not the way to set up a nice rapport between us. All right, are you willing to, you're not willing to forfeit everybody's television sets, though? Come on. I'm willing right. to forfeit everybody's television sets. I said that. I, if I don't eat the dog feces, then then they don't get the TVs. But I hear you. It, 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 hey, I don't want to get off the wrong foot with you. I'm trying to work it out. You know, I will walk down there and uh, eat a piece of that if, you know, if you really want me to. Is that what you want? I mean... No, what I want is ratings. That's what I want is ratings. I understand okay? that. Okay, what can we I do? I don't blame you. <clears throat> I need something visual, okay? Those women are very attractive. They're hot. Ashley and what's the other one? Uh, Molly. Yeah. Matt, Molly. Why don't you get the woman to go topless? We'll just get a quick shot. Boom. You don't have to eat dog shit. Crazy thing for the TV producer to say. <laughs> get a shot of the hot ones. I mean, what even is the idea for changing that segment, though? They're all eating gross food, and here's the topless women. That's what we're saying? Okay. I can't speak on their behalf, but I will speak to them. <laughs> I don't think they're, they would go for that. I'll talk to them. 
You don't think they're going to go top? I mean, you would know better I, in front of everybody. I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't give it a chance. So go talk to the women, see if they'll take their tops off. Okay. Okay. Would so you set up for right? something else? Come back. Just come back. What, just, what if? Just come back. What if they don't go with the topless? Can we? Can, is there anything else that would make you happy? Then I really don't think you got a shot. Then come up with something. Don't you think we have a better shot of them just kissing than we do them taking their clothes off? I don't think either of them's going to go for nudity in this situation. If we can just get them it's to kiss, no it's one too great. What situation? How are you going to pitch this? This is crazy. See it. I don't see what the big deal is. Everyone in the room see it. That's why we're going to do it, man. Everyone, gonna it. everyone in the house would see it. I don't think they're going to go for you guys seeing it. Even, even me or the rest of the crew, I don't think they're going to go for it. What if we just say, if, if the hub of two girls, we get two if girls they to kiss. kiss. We'll do that. All right. Good. One more thing. Can I talk to you for one more second? Thank sure. you. Not, no. Uh, Matt, 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 Matt. No, sir. Not you. I'll bite, Ralph, be out here, Matt. Put on your B suit again or something. Good. Hang on a second. I need you to go down there and convince them to kiss, all right? If they won't do topless, then see if they'll kiss. That's what's going to sell this thing, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry about Ralph, okay? Part of the reason I went to the violation part of this thing. That goes you. way, that goes way, this guy, I know this that guy, goes way deep. You don't have to Ralph explain. Ralph has been a, Series of problems, I'll be honest with you, the guy was not our first choice, but you know, in TV you make do with what you got, okay? okay. I'm counting on you, I want you to have a good time. We wanted Ryan okay. Seacrest. Matt, us. All right, but we Thanks. thought, well, he's gonna say, no, the girls can't go topless. Instead, he said, okay, I'll go make him go topless. And Ralph was able to bring it around and say, well, let's come up with two ideas. All right, should we switch over to the non-centered stream for this topless makeout session that's happening? Worked out a uh, compromise with Matt. Matt wanted to talk to you guys alone about it, so I'm just gonna leave and let you guys work it out. What's up? Doggers. Okay, listen. Obviously, our whole reason for being here. Are they making him pitch the topless scene right now? It still doesn't even make sense for the show. I mean, I, it doesn't make sense. They just did a food tasting thing, and then it's just going to cut to two topless girls making out. I mean, it's bad TV. We have two choices. Now, unfortunately, in our male-dominated society, <laughs> the choices do not involve the two of us or the two of us. What an opening. That was good. It should involve you. Trust me. So unfortunately, in the patriarchy, some decisions have to be made. The choices are either you two go topless <laughs> or you two kiss. Going topless is And not there's good. no in between. And there's no other option. Keep Hutch, your mouth it's shut. a sensitive situation. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. It's it's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm not cool. going topless. Well, so you guys can kiss. Can you what kiss? What about a quick kiss? No, can you, you know what? I think it's ridiculous. Kiss. I have a lot of friends that are lesbians and they're very nice people. Right, you know? but and they I, kiss each other but all the time. I'm not a lesbian. Mm-hmm. Can I just say on that note, look, you guys, your decision is your decision. Totally. And it's up to you. But along those lines, you have put your hand on Tani's inner thigh, on Tani's breast. Right. You know, Sorry. we've done a lot worse than you two kissing, I think. For sure. Have you ever kissed another guy? If they want me to kiss... This is not about that. One of these guys... Well, then let's see if they'll change... I would, you better I would watch what you that. say. Because I would kiss anybody at this table for a 42-inch... Well, that's not going to bring in the ratings. I just think that this is sleazy. I think it's <laughs> dirty TV. Welcome to the television. Girls, it's your decision. We could be watching this kiss on a 42-inch television. Will you stop it? Wow. I'm trying to watch this kiss, baby. I don't care who's going to kiss. Someone kiss. Stop. Guys, I'm sorry. This is not my idea. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they're asking for a decision right away. Can I have, know. like, give Molly and I a second? We haven't even had one second to talk. Okay. I just want to talk to her for a second. Everybody I'm else sure, that'll be talking. fine. Like I said, this is not on me. This is the network asking Molly. for you for a decision. I don't want to be the one held responsible for everybody not getting their TVs. I know that. Yeah, make out. I want a 42-incher. Uh, that's a 42-incher right there. I'm kissing a girl for that. I would kiss a man for a 65-inch. Stand up. Thank you. (laughs) Dear God. Make sure you get this shit. Hold frame. Hold frame. Don't just pack either. Just. Okay. I swear to God, if the censor on this video censors it out, I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad. Because I, because I love sex. That's with the music over it. Ashley stood Molly up and um, gave her a big kiss, and I thought it was unreal, unfreaking believable. I don't have a boner. I do not have a boner. Don't say I have a boner. I do not have. I do not. Not me. They're happy in the booth. Thank you. Everyone has just won a 42-inch flat screen television. Today's Lord of the Manor Immunity Showdown. Two of you will win immunity. Don't call me Gaynar. That's not cool. Don't bring you back to high school like that. Fuck off. And here to help us out are our old friends, Jamie, Kristen, and them. 
I'm gonna rattle off the girl. This show really is just like sex game to sex game to sex game. What's happening? We're basically cannonballing into the pool to read these um, clues off of the uh, models, chests. The words on the front of each model complete a phrase, king of blank. The words Crush on their up? backs complete the phrase queen of blank. England. Your job is to figure out what celebrity we're referring to. One of you will cannonball into the pool, soaking the model's shirt to reveal the king clue. Once your team guesses the king celebrity correctly, the second member of the team must then cannonball into the pool to reveal the queen clue on the back. All right, everyone, let's get wet. Yeah! You ready? Let's do this. I don't follow, but I'm I sure I'll figure it out. It was. If I won, Hutch would win as well, but... Nights when I have the robe are so much better for me because I'm able to eat. So all that had to happen was that Matt and I would go first and we would set the time. And everyone else just had to take a little bit longer and lose the game so we could have double immunity. Ready, set, jump! Woo! Nothing! Oh, not much! Not Nothing at all! You gotta go again, no man! Well, no, much to my chagrin, I jumped once, and I swear she didn't have a drop of water on her. Nice! Nice! Oh, a little better, a little better. Matt's, I guess, a little out of shape. I was thinking his size would really get us through that, but he's going like one time, two times, three times. He's going like five times. He's out of breath. Like the goal is to cannonball to create a water splash big enough to get their it's wet, so you could read the word on their chest. Got it. Oh my God, he's tired. Let's go, man. You got it. You got I it. No, he's Lord. sucking. So I was almost about to, to vomit. After. That's how difficult it was for me. Come on, man. You can do it, man. Find, find it deep inside. That'll nice. do it. Nice. Their boobs are pulling. It Media. Apart. I'm, Howard Stern. You're right, Matt. You're right. Yeah. Well, finally, the hutch went and came through in a major way. Jump. Come on, Hush! Come on, Hush! Oh, can you read that one? Remember, it's Queen of Blank. Pop, Queen pop. of Blank. Queen of Pop. Queen of Pop. Can we make a oh, guess? Pretty Spears. Pretty Spears. Pretty Spears is correct. Like, wow. Oh, my God! Well, wow. Queen of Pop. Wow. Matt took longer than expected, so now the actors have to stall for time in order to stick to the plan. All right, now our first team of Hutch and Matt, they completed the task in two minutes and 44 seconds. Both puzzles, okay? So that's the time to beat. Molly, are you ready? Ready. All right, on my mark. A little applause for Molly, a little less support. Woo, ready. Do we see how they're just gonna suck go. as well? Wow. So just, just be terrible. Not bad, not bad. Good job, but not a lot of water. Oh, All right, right. not bad. Don't lean back, don't lean Molly was jumping and jumping and jumping. Respectfully. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Molly. Come on, keep going. Right. And I looked down and my whole triangle top. Respectfully. Like, All frame, like, respect. <sighs> Especially looking at this too. What the fuck? Who is that? God damn your show. Who is that? Okay, okay, that? okay. Um, Milton Burrow. No. Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson is right. Molly, I think because she, she was out of breath or she's blonde, not sure. She kind of like blurted out the right answer right away, which is what we told her like before. Okay, whatever you do, do not say Carson. Don't say it right away. Go through all of them and then say Carson just to make sure that he wins. On my mark. Now Kip is overcoming a giant obstacle here. He's scared of water. I'm gonna throw you in the freaking pool. Every opportunity. Even in even flashbacks, there's nudity. You're not there's nudity all the over this show. Uh, Kip's diving in the pool was the worst acting in the history of Hollywood. You can do it. Come on, there you go. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, you go. got it a little bit. You go. get it? Breathe. Okay, real? I get it. One of the girls said something about you know, what is that fake? Is it stupid? And everybody's heart kind of jumped in our throats. What? Hey, no. You can't swim. Matt says that. Thank God. All right, Kip, you've already passed the time to beat. So you're so we're gonna let you come in now. But it would have been it would have been the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. And that's all right, Kip, you did a great job. Come on in. Maybe we can pull him in with uh, with Jamie. The model thought it was funny that Kip couldn't swim, and uh, I think that's rude. Kip tried to hang on to her raft, and she tried to paddle away, but I just think that's mean to do to somebody. And Matt went on a tirade. So always step it up for people. Doing. 
In the deep end. She's like trying to get away she from him. She doesn't know. Hang on. Give him a hand. Fucking give him a hand, huh? She's not even good looking, so. Fuck her. It never ceased to amaze me how he kept sticking up for the what he viewed as the downtrod. Uh, I mean, a little off hand there on the, on the last comment, but I mean, damn. The intentions were good, I guess. You ready, Ashley? Ready, ready set, jump! Oh! Yeah! Whoa, what replay? It's a mare! It's a mare! Whoa! DLP! Yes! Pop. Yes! Yes. That'd be the king of flight. Michael Jackson. Michael yes. Jackson is correct. The king of pop. Well, Brian had to hand me his glasses before going, so that put them at a serious disadvantage. Ready, set, jump. Go. Huge. Oh, nice air. Great splash. Oh, wow. Great. What's it say? That's you great. I can't see it. Walk. Queen of Oak. Ashley and Brian, we were trying to make it as believable as possible. Um, but, you know, it did seem a little rigged. 240, 241, 242, 243, 244. Time, I'm sorry. Damn Oprah it. Winfrey, the queen of talk. Oh my gosh. Just talk. as they were about. Immunity goes to Hutch and Matt. Congratulations. Damn me. it, I want Hutch off the show. We'll see you all at the Richest of Rags eviction ceremony later this evening. Good Richest job, everybody. Richest of Rags ceremony, baby. Who's getting kicked off now? You've all enjoyed living the good life in the lap of luxury. But for yep. two of you, the vacation's over. That's right. Double trouble. Two Wait, of you two? are about to say goodbye to two? society and return to your sad existences of working for the man. Oh no. Be oh, joining. I missed that. It's gonna be like Molly and Brian. Before we get started, I've got a few questions for you. Ashley, on a scale of one to 10, how good a kisser is Molly? I don't know, Ralph. Why don't you tell us? T. Okay, it's time to vote. <laughs> Gotta skip right past that one. I will now read the votes. Keep in mind that the two house guests with the most votes will be leaving this evening. <clears throat> <clears throat> Molly. Kip. It's gonna be Molly. Molly's going. Ashley. It's gonna be a tie. It's gonna be a tie. Molly. Molly's out. Kip. Oh. Kip and Molly. Molly with three votes. Kip with Damn. two. Kip was my favorite. You will be cut off from the lap of luxury. Someone pointed out in my last YouTube video that I've apparently said somebody new is my favorite like every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Kip, let's start with you. Before you go from riches to rags, please serve me your plate and address the group. See? It wasn't the best kiss. You are my queen. It wasn't the best kiss. Molly, I know it wasn't the best you kiss. You are my princess. Ryan, the best kiss. you are my court jester. <laughs> Matt, you are my knight in shining armor. Don't think it was the best angle, the nose thing. Yeah, it will move past armor. it. And Hutch, you are the dragon, which I send my armies out every day to try to vanquish. Thank you. Yep. Break it, break it. <laughs> it's time. Mm. The house is voted. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Kip, you're dead to us. You're dead to us. Oh, it didn't smash. Stop. Molly. Before you go from riches to rags, serve me your plate and address the group. Oh, Molly, you were my favorite. So I just want y'all to know that I cherish every single day that I had with you guys. So thank you. Thank I cherish you. respectfully you looking at you. Away? Respectfully. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, so I guess that's the first time they really see that Bye affection. Bye, I love you. Bye, guys. Have fun. Don't let him boss you around. Damn. She took her plate? Wait, what? Did she? Did he not even smash it? Yeah, she took it with her. I suggest you all get a good night's sleep tonight. Have a good night. You too. Wow. Did you notice that kiss? 
What? Oh, true, Ashley. He's gonna go crazy. How could you not notice that kiss? No, I kind of see what you're saying. No, no, no. It's so interesting. It might have been a little bit. I kind of see long. what you're saying. Gina. It might have been a little bit. Believe me about Gina. You don't believe me about Molly. I roomed with both of them. Okay. I'm a girl. Y'all don't listen to me. Did she bang Ralph? I know something happened. That made me sick when I saw them kiss. And Matt could not get over that. Molly and Ralph were kissing. Dude, because Matt told her last time, he's like, don't even worry about it. Like, it's not a thing. They're not hooking up. And if they are, don't worry about it. And then that was the most flagrant hookup ever. Which is just great to see him, like, really, like, take it in. Because, you know, that's the whole game. We know it's all fake, but he's really, like, dealing with it. Dude, Where'd that you? was crazy. I, I know. know. Oh, he kind of did like Molly, too, didn't he? Oh, that's fair, too. Oh, dude, they keep doing that, too. Every episode, they're like, it's crazy how, like, we're fucking with his emotions. I feel really bad. And then they just have his girl flagrantly hooks up with the host in front of him. That is, that's sad. Sorry, buddy. Yes. See, I know you like mine, I don't dude. know, I don't I know the she full details. She did something to me. Um, what does that what? mean? Are she you ate. for real? Yeah. Did she, what did, like, what did what? she? Uh, no, no, I don't, I'm telling you. What was it, her brains? She, she's just so nice, and she's hot. You think she's that And nice? she's a virgin. She, to me. I only can judge to me. No, just remember, there's $100,000 on the table. A lot of people are nice, aren't they? They better give this guy his fucking bag after this. They better give him the bag. He needs it. He's going through it. Some shit's gonna go down. Okay. All right, we're doing the last two episodes. We are on episode seven now. While Matt was being interviewed, he didn't know that it was his last day at the mansion. And tension was running high amongst the cast as they secretly met with the director. Last day at the mansion, we got two episodes left? Okay. Today's as scary, if not scarier, than the very first day because it all depends on one secret. It's important you don't tip your They're hand. all back. Are they gonna surprise him? Just really stay the course. Everyone's okay. back. Hello, everybody. Hi. How y'all doing? Tired? Don't act like no, I'm well rested. Huh. I have a special announcement for you guys. Your stay here at the Lap of Luxury Mansion is nearing its end. As a result, we'll be having a special sudden death eviction ceremony directly after lunch. Oh shit. So put your game faces on. You're gonna find things are be progressing very quickly from here on out. I'm excited. The rest Matt, like instantly looks like he lost his appetite. Yeah, he, he said it. In the future, you might wanna let the guy get a meal down before you come in and go, by the way, you may be next. Have a nice meal. Sudden death eviction ceremony? With no immunity? We're all up for grabs. Ashley, we need to steal you for an interview. I'm coming, I'm coming. <sighs> the atmosphere has changed. I'm voting for Ashley. I don't know what you guys are doing. Done. I'm on board, dude. SS Ashley. So once Ashley leaves, we start plotting. And he's ready to go. He's like, Ashley's out, man. She doesn't deserve that money, dude. She has a BM. Did Ashley wrong him that badly that he wouldn't vote out Hutch? Oh, it's because she's rich is what he said? She's got a BM. <laughs> I just can't believe he's not voting out Hutch. Not voting out Hutch is kind of crazy here. She doesn't deserve that money, dude. She has a BM fucking W. You know what? BM I'll fucking only, W. But I have to say something to you to, to be square business because I don't want to have any... Honestly, I trust you about as far as I can throw this house. You know what I mean? But that's not... Anything it's personal. Not, yeah, it's not anything That's only because it's a game. Right. Look, I have my strategy, your, I know. which I employ, but... Right. She's gone. Brian? Yeah? We need to uh, steal you for an interview. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wow. All right, huh? Yo. All right, look, this is my thought. We could vote for Ashley. And I'm, I'm for that. Or we could vote Brian on. Cause that's what I'm saying. You do it there. But I'm saying we could take Brian out the next round too. We align. You're gonna align with the Hutch? Are you out of your mind? He's not gonna do it. You're not gonna align with the Hutch. For the next elimination ceremony, whatever that is, we take out Brian. Cause I'm telling you right now, dude, he's gonna split your vote. If Matt goes for this, he's a fool. Cause clearly aligning with Brian's your best option if the reality show is real. I mean, you can have your friendship, dude, but. Well, that's I mean, gonna continue the end, no matter what. Well, yeah, that's, and gonna that's one. That's fine. But I'm saying in terms of winning the money. I'm not talking not about friendship. Effort. I'm not. Yeah. Not. I'm talking about your friendship right now, getting in the way of what we both want. And it is. I mean, I'm it saying is. ideally, at the end of this, don't it's you and me. Don't fall for it, Matt. Don't fall for it. You're smart on this. 
done. All right. I don't have to talk about it anymore. I hope he's double crossing him. It's a slim chance, but I hope Matt's double crossing him because I I can't believe he would cross Brian this easily. Because if you thought this was real, your best option would be to align with Brian, who's been nothing but genuine to you, instead of Hutch, who will probably lie and kick you off. Even though he hates my guts, he's willing to break his alliances because he's, you know, he wants to win that money. And I told him, I'm like, it's good versus evil, dude. And he's game. <sighs> I don't like doing this anymore. Giving interviews, live yeah, it, double cross right now, please. It. I often question why I even came here. We know why. Not for the money. I know you'd love to think that. Of course, that's an enticing thing. I mean, money. You need a little money because I need to. You know, I'm taking so much time off work and stuff like that. Is what I mean. But like, whatever. I don't think I'm gonna win the money. I didn't think from day one, and I don't think it now. You know what I mean? I can see that. That's well, really it, I mean. Who are you gonna vote for? I don't know, I, I just... You know who you should vote for? Brian. Really? I know you guys are friends. I think that's cool, whatever. Not gonna We're double cross. Close. It's not about friendship. I'm just saying. I know, I've been fearing this day though for a while makes me sick to my stomach. It's being honest, wow. It doesn't need to make you sick to your stomach. To have to vote for him? Why? He's my boy. You think he's gonna be mad? I know what you're saying. He's not that smart of a guy. Okay, so the real question is, will Matt go to Brian and say, let's vote out? Well, they already said he's voting out Ashley, but I guess next time. Don't give it a second thought. He's smart. You don't think? <laughs> I think there's two smart people left. Remember all the good times they had together, like when he jumped on him with his old dick and balls out? Remember all the good times they had together? Got yeah, those memories. Hutch? Oh, he's a lot smarter okay. than we give him credit for. He works at a mall. Okay. Yeah, but <gasps> I work in a pizza shop. Gross. Yeah, but you have goals. I mean, did you come out here to make best friends? I already got those. Exactly. It has to end at I, some point. It's going to. Whether you want it to or not, it's going to. Right. Both Ashley and Hutch want me to vote Brian off. Um, you know, I know what I have to do, and it just makes me really sick. All right, Ashley, thank you. See ya. Later. Oh, I thought Hutch was saying, let's vote out Ashley, and then we'll vote out Brian next time. They're pressuring to vote him off now. Oh, right to the eviction ceremony. All right. We've all enjoyed living the good life in the lap of luxury. But for one of you, vacation's over. Time to go That's back right. to your pathetic One of you life. is about to say goodbye to high society and return to your sad existence of working for the man. I never remember it correctly. This is the special sudden death riches to rags eviction ceremony. Each of you is represented here by your very own lap of luxury collector's plate. Your plate, much like your position here, is very it's fragile. fragile. Yes. As long as you remain in the game, the plate will remain whole. But for the one of you that receives the most eviction votes today, your plate will be cast into the fireplace and shattered. Ah, we know the rigmarole, Ralph. I'm wearing the immunity robe today. That means none of you are safe. It's time to vote. One by one, I'll be asking you to evict the house guest of your choice. Keep in mind, the votes can't be changed, debated, or overturned. The decision will be final, so choose wisely. Hutch, let's begin with you. All right, baby, let's see it. Who's Matt doing? Hold on, let's pull it, let's pull it. Big, okay. We think that he hates Ashley so much that it's not even about saving Brian, it's more that he hates Ashley more. That's fair. I think you guys might be right on that one. And there's no way he double crosses Hutch, that'd be crazy. If he did though, it would be kind of nuts. Now reveal the votes. Ashley. Ashley spelled wrong, that's not how you spell that. Mrs. Gunner. Matt. Someone voted Matt? Someone crossed him? Ashley. Okay, well that is Matt's, right? Because Matt can actually spell Ashley correctly. Ashley. Okay, so, okay, so Matt voted Ashley. Ashley, with three votes, you 
you've been cut Ashley voted me. off in the lap of luxury. Before you go from riches to rags, please serve me your plate and address the group. What if she starts making out with Ralph too? Oh, well, that would well. break Matt's brain. It's some little boys club that we have here, isn't it? I can see why we'd want to vote me off. Being a uh, stronger of the sexes. Obviously, I'm the only one that has any balls here. <laughs> She's also the only one that's eaten balls here. Maybe just a few words of advice. <clears throat> That's not a joke about her being a woman, by the way. That was because she ate testicles in the last episode. Been trying to vote me off for a few days now. Really interesting. Weakest point, your strategy. Brian. You're a clown. Thank you. You know the saddest thing about clowns? They never win. God, you're not leaving now. Ashley doing a villain speech right now. Hutch. Yo. Honey, you work at a mall and you make what six seventy five an hour? Gross. I kind of can't wait till to take my bags out to my beamer. I can't wait to watch your sundress walk out this front door. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, bye. All right. Damn. Ashley, it's time. The house is voted. She Ashley, really I had like a fucking in character villain speech. Dust to dust. Ashley. Could I? You're dead to us. Can I play? No. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> Sometimes their timing is so good. No. Great timing. I'm gonna cry. Can I get a <laughs> tissue? Now I remember getting mad on Survivor when the one guy didn't vote Tina Wesson off. I'm getting mad at him, but now I understand, you know. I've made a commitment to Brian and him to me, and I plan on seeing that through. My friend. I knew he had it in him. I knew he had the teamwork in him. He's not double crossing Brian, or he's just not crossing him. He's double crossing Hutch. Let's go. Now it's down to three. In a few short hours, we'll be holding our final ceremony during your stay here at the mansion. <laughs> the ceremony that will decide they which one of you leaves with $100,000. And to help me do that, I've invited back a few familiar faces. Here they come, baby. The rest of the cast. I thought they were dead to us. I thought they went back to their sad existence working for the man. Oh, Ashley comes back. <laughs> and she's back. That's right. Your former housemates will be deciding your fate. They will be deciding who wins lap of luxury and gets the $100,000. Dude, what a plot twist. I knew something weird was going on today. Are you serious? The second I woke up, dude. Why? The second I rolled out of bed, I knew it. I knew it. I knew something weird was going on. I could tell from the second I opened my eyes this morning. I thought there'd be like another couple of, like at least one more immunity challenge. The fact that Brian Matt and I stressed. made it here to me is mind-boggling. Um, I thought I would be off a long time ago, and uh, I thought Brian would too. Uh, we're friends, and we're awful strategists. I don't think anyone wants <laughs> us to win. Uh, I know, but somebody's gonna. It's gonna be the Hutch, I'm, I bet you. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna vote for the Hutch? Wait, I, I'm interested. No offense to you. Yeah, Matt's brain is kind of confusing me. I feel like Matt's the most likely that everyone liked, except Ashley now, because he kind of crossed her, but I feel like everyone liked Matt. Because but he like, didn't miss We haven't any pissed words. off anybody. Maybe Ashley. <laughs> I told you, dude. <clears throat> you two are going to split the vote, bro. That's not true, Hutch. That is not true. Except Ashley. Ashley knows. Ashley's on to you. Well, we may what do you mean dude? on to me? I haven't, like... Dude, she knows you were trying to get her to vote. Yeah, but that's a game. That's yeah. fine. I mean, I. Well, I'm just saying. She voted saying for you don't him. have a vote nationally. She voted for him yeah. today. Kip's not going to vote for me, obviously. Well, whoever took these pictures implicated themselves. I'll pull your pants down right now and find out who did this. I did it. Relax. It's Kip. not a big fucking deal. Jesus, it was a joke. Kip has got to vote for you, man. You like. Not necessarily. He called you his knight in shining armor. Yeah, dude, you're golden with Kip. 
much. I've, I've told you all along, though, I think I've been very honest with you all along that though I disagree with some of your practices, that I appreciate the fact that you don't bullshit. That's right. That's I've right. told you that from day one. I tried my hardest not to lie. Yeah. I don't know if I did. I know you've been square with me, and I know, I remember like the first vote, which seems like two months ago, you were like really quick to go talk to Molly and- Don't vote for me next eviction ceremony. Okay. And you can promise me that? Oh, listen, Thank you, I've said it, I will not vote for you, and I promise you that. I think you were square with everybody. I tried to be. I didn't really get to know it, all the people that well. Like, I, I, I don't know Gina that well. Let me show you what strategy's all about, boy. Let me show you. I think Gina Matt. liked Matt too, right? Again, I'm not sure why I'm worrying about this. They're gonna rig it no matter what, but in Matt's mind, he should think he's okay, I believe. Those people are losers. Yeah, well, those uh, losers are gonna decide whether or not you're a winner, my friend. No. Dude, they're cool, man. We had a good time. Yeah. I mean, you have some losers. problems. Don't say they're losers, because that's not true. <laughs> well, all those people are gone. We're trying to get Matt to talk about who he thinks is gonna vote for him, and it's making him sick, and, and we're all just nervous as hell. And it was funny, because Matt was nervous about winning the game. Me and the Hutch were nervous about Matt's reaction. Let's not do it. If you guys want to talk about it, I got to leave because it makes me too Oh, man. Nervous. It's got to be way more stressful, too, on the actors when they're down in this situation. Like, I feel like the Hutch and the Brian guy acting now, like, not having the support of, you know, five or six other people in the room, it's probably a little bit more stressful. You guys don't, aren't nervous and Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm freaking but, out, dude. I mean, I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous, but I feel better than I felt. The whole time. Really? Yeah. Now. Why? Why is that? Because like really whatever, dude. Answer. It's out of our hands now. Yeah, this has been a trip, man. We're not getting any more good TV at us, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna say another <laughs> fucking <laughs> word, dude. No more backstabbing. <laughs> Let's go down three together, man. Hutch, do you have any to put your arm around somebody? I can uh, muster up the uh, you desire. Muster it up. You gonna be able to eat tonight? Oh, oh look, you need friends. Man. I gotta eat off this piece of shit. Are you kidding me? I am not an attractive dinner plate. If I don't win, I really supper? hope Brian wins. Um, he's a great guy. You know, aside from myself, I, I wouldn't rather see anyone else win but him. All right, man. This is it. He's so kind. Now I regret. <laughs> oh, no. Good evening, gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> Have you got good news this time? <laughs> I do. Great. But first and foremost, I wanted to welcome you to your last supper. Thank you. It's not an allegory, it's real. Two of you are going to die tonight. I thought before you guys ate, we'd have a little toast. It seems appropriate. Awesome. Great. So if you want to raise your glasses, here's to your final night in the lap of luxury mansion. Soon, you'll be facing a jury of your peers. Jury? Jury duty? All actors, one real man. What's, what's happening? Uh, uh, there's cameras everywhere on me, aren't there? Nothing's real. So cheers. Here's to the lap of luxury. Thank cheers. you. All. Cheers. cheers. Matt. Oh, Ronald confirmed in the cinematic oh, universe. Thank you. Thanks for everything, Ralph. Let's shotgun My pleasure, this gentlemen. Are they doing a prayer? Great. Yep. Awesome. Good call. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let them eat first to know if it's poison or not. Very dramatic. What? What's everybody's frame of mind? I just, it's like I said earlier, I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. What do you mean? I was asking him today. I'm like, was that guy up in the room really a, like a, a network guy? Like I thought he was. That's the first time he's questioned anything. Ronald was like somewhat questioning things by episode two. That's this is the first time Matt has questioned anything, and it's episode seven. <laughs> Deep breaths. Well, the thing you gotta think about is how much the actors are shitting themselves when he says something like this. It's like an actor or something. What's he gonna do? You know, all of this had built up to this boy. Like, please don't pull a 35 millimeter out, Matt. Really? Yeah. Why? I, I, I was know. asking you what the hell happened up there and you're like, I don't wanna talk about it. What, it, like what? It, I just didn't, I don't know. It was a little bit intense. I'm a guy from Pittsburgh. I'll go back if you want to hold me in violation of my contract. But like, that is not the way to set up a nice rapport between us. 
just an awkward position to be in. I'm sitting there as, a, as kind of an actor going, do I want to dig deeper on that? Or do I want to just back off and let it sit? Back I was off. a big fat uh, wussy, so I backed off and let it sit because he Good thinks play. it's a setup. Well, fellas, does anyone have any final words before we go back to our rooms? You're up, dude. I'm just glad to be here, man. Yeah, I'm glad. Man, I'm, I'm glad. In all honesty, me too. Whatever happens, not me. I'm here to win. You too, man. You're one of a kind, dude. Come on, Hutch. Well, if I win the hundred thousand dollars, it will change. You know what I want to do in the future. And he's right back to believing everything. And okay. the fact that. You know, I won't have to worry quite as much about money. Like I've said many times before, man, I want a house, a dog, and a girl. <laughs> Simple man. I swear to God, if Ralph goes on this fucking tirade of saying the same thing for the next 30 seconds. Enjoy the good life and lap oh, of luxury. We've seen this so the many times. The vacation's over. Yeah, for one of you? Okay. It's just okay. beginning. It's just beginning. We've oh. already given out some wonderful prizes. Ashley and Kip will be off to Tahiti via Air Tahiti Nui, staying at the romantic Sheridan Morea Lagoon. Dr. Pat will be relaxing at the Green Valley Spa in St. George, Utah. That's Red Rock Canyon country. And she's got an extra $25,000 in her pocket. And of course, everyone took home a flat screen TV. Oh, but now. Damn it. It's finally the time to Jealous. award the Lap of Luxury Grand Prize. $100,000. Oh! I'm still confused. We have an hour and 20 minute episode after this, and this is the final one? I thought they were kicking off one person, there's gonna be a sudden death after that. This is the final voting. It's like jury duty, you think? No, but they... Jury duty the last episode was showing how they set up everything. You think they're gonna show up but they set everything? I mean, we kind of already seen everything. They do behind the scenes during the show. I'll have a seat. Tonight, we're leaving the questioning to your old housemates. We're also leaving with them the decision of who gets the $100,000. Each housemate will ask one question for all three of you to answer. After that, you'll each get the opportunity to share any final thoughts you might have with your old housemates. Then, the housemates will vote one last time, this time for the winner of Lap of Luxury. And one of you will become $100,000 thousand dollars richer. Gina, since you were the first house guest evicted, why don't we start the questioning with you? Okay. A lot of questions about to be asked here. You. If you were a participant on a reality program contest, what strategy would you implement to make it to the finals? Brian, why don't we start with you? Uh, I guess the same strategy I, I used here, which was Really, no strategy. Just try to be myself and hope that is enough. Matt, your answer? He really is the buddy. I would. Well, I think I've proven so far this week that I'm an awful strategist. We're going for Ashley. We're going for Ashley out tonight. Earl, <laughs> you're dead to us. I, uh, I tried to manipulate the game um, to no avail. Somehow I made it to this point. You know, and I could say be nice to everyone and everything like that, but I would do that normally, whether you want to believe it or not. Um, I don't consider that a strategy. I consider that strategy is being know, nice. I lead my life like I led this game, you know. Hutch, your answer to Gina's question. Two kind words, of the same answer Hutch. as Brian, but it is real. Hutch, your answer to Gina's question. Two words, be Hutch. Two words, be Hutch. All right. Fair enough. Earl, your turn. All three of you have fought well. I have a two-part question. Please What's your opinion on the Third Amendment? What's your opinion on the Fourth Amendment? Part. If you were uh, captured by an enemy force... Oh my God! Star... <laughs> wow, <was> I, <laughs> I didn't think it was actually going to be something so stereotypical to his character. I was, I was just joking. <laughs> beaten, abused physically and sexually and mentally and tortured. Sexually. Would you give up information to the enemy about your men and your country? And part two, what was your favorite game in the house? Okay, uh, the answer to that, Earl, is no. I pride myself on 
not turning my back what on you know the people now? who love me and the people who support me. I would m remain tried and true to the cause in which I was fighting for. Um, a little overly patriotic to try to appease him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'd put my fucking life down. Yeah, for the troops, yes. I would consider it, you know, after the beatings and the sexual abuse after so long, you know, eventually you're going to die. You know, eventually they're going to kill you. So why not die with your pride intact? How about Solid. part two, Matt? Um, I would have to say my favorite game was Twister. money, 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 honey. Um, <laughs> partially because of my partner. Um, I did have fun. Great. Brian? Um, I don't know that I have the courage that you do. So I, for me to stand up here and say, I know for sure that I would be as brave as, as you would be. I, I don't know that I could say that, honestly. Um, in terms of my favorite game in the house, was probably getting to lick the chocolate off the model. She, is, she was lovely and I licked the chocolate off of her and that is an experience that undoubtedly will never, ever, ever happen in my life ever again with her without her. Uh, no, and hand Never say never. I can, ah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Hutch is fast. No and the stripper. Dr. Pat, your question. Um. Throughout this whole experience, we've all gotten to know ourselves a little bit better, I think. And my question for you is, out of the nine of us, who do you think your inner child would choose as a playmate? Who would your inner child choose as a playmate? Hutch, let's start with you. Strange question. Uh, easy. My inner child would choose Dr. Pat and did. Oh, nice. Yes, okay. <laughs> Brian? So I'd have kept... to say it'd be Matt because he's oh. somebody I can relate to. Sure. And Matt? Well, Brian. for me, um, on okay. the fun level, I would choose Brian because we get along. Um, probably my horny inner child would choose Molly. <laughs> um, the inner child in me that, you know, needs a parent would choose Earl. Oh, what a suck up he is, but great answer. He's picking everybody. He's picking all different types of inner child. A lot of fun to play with, too. So if we could have yeah. a trio, I'd, I'd bring Kip along and maybe, maybe Hutch to beat on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Pat. Molly, wow. your question? Okay. He's sucking up, but that also was kind of real. $100,000, would you donate any of it to a charity? Brian, Hutch, no. You. Honestly, I would, I would donate a very, very small amount, I'm ashamed to say, to a charity that would be very close to me. Yeah, don't virtue signal. Matt, you're keep asking. it. Like Brian, I would love to say that I would run out of here and give 50,000 to a charity, <laughs> but um, I'm but quite no, the charity case sure. myself. <laughs> you know, I donate to charities anyway. Perhaps rather than giving a dollar or 50 cents when I come out of the grocery store to the Salvation Army, maybe I'd be more willing to give a five or a 10 but even well, that, relax I relax with the 10, that's a lot. Okay. Hutch. Yes, Solid answer. to the Hutch needs a sports car fund. <laughs> that's about it. Classic Thanks Hutch answer. Yep. Is the charity oh. my Beamer? Hello. Um, if you have to sum up your experience here in the house in an analogy, how would you sum it up? Okay. Um, it's like being well, a I would say, prisoner of war and getting tortured and abused, both physically and sexually. My time here is very similar to going to see one of my favorite movies, the movie Terms of Endearment. Because in that movie, you have comedy, <laughs> you have <laughs> drama, you have love, you have death, you're dead to us. Um, yeah, so that's it. Oh, Hutch? Uh, my analogy would be, it was like, I'm like Sisyphus, you know, pushing the rock up the hill. Wow. I don't All think right. that's, that was Atlas. Is that accurate? Greek mythology, experts in chat, is Sisyphus? Damn it. All right, good on him. Um, I would say it's, it's kind of been like the Sword of Damocles dangling over my head, hanging by a thread. Okay, what are all these references? Why is everyone know mythology references? I took AP Latin five in high school. I can't, da da Damocles, Damocles? Is that a sword type or is that a reference to mythology? Dangling over my no. head, hanging by no, a thread. It. So Who cares? thank you for not cutting it yet. Who cares? And finally, Ashley. Damocles. 
Why should someone like me Here she goes. vote for someone? Here she like goes. You? Uh, because you don't deserve it, and I do. Oh, right. Um, I don't know, but I think you ought to vote for me because I sure would appreciate it. What's and Matt gonna say? You know, I just want to have a nice life. Um, you've told us you've been on trips. You know, you've, you're very worldly. You've had an opportunity to see things that a lot of us haven't. Um, perhaps someone like you should vote for someone like me so I could share some of the experiences you've had. That's my answer. <laughs> All right. Now, gentlemen, we appeal to class. I'd like to give you a chance to share any final thoughts you might have with your old housemates. Brian, let's begin with you. Um, I'm not smart, but I am smart enough to realize that you guys have probably already made up your minds as to who you're going to vote for. So, I'm going to keep my message very short. I hope you vote for me. If you don't, no hard feelings. I had a great time, and uh, that's it. Okay, Matt? Okay. Um, Gina, you voted for me. I was a little hurt by that. But I just wanted you to know that I didn't sell you out that night. And I don't know what you did with anyone else, but it wasn't me, Earl. Um, the only thing I can say to you is that, and I honestly believe that I'm better for having met you. Uh, I enjoyed spending the night in bed with you. <laughs> uh, Dr. Pat, that goes for don't you as well. That one. You're very sweet. Uh, Molly, uh, you know, I. I, I gave you the benefit of the doubt the whole time. Um, I was a little jealous when you kissed Ralph. Yeah, I mean, he is going a little overboard. The personal message to every single person might make you look a little bit try hard, but I do like hearing his, his nice thoughts. Kip, you called me your knight in shining armor last night, and you know, it made me beam. And you know, I'm really glad I met you. It might be too nice. And really. Ashley, nice. Um, I think that I have a lot to work on. And I think that you have some things to work on as well. Um, you know, I'm sorry, I, nothing was personal towards you. I'm just, but I, overall, I'm glad of the time we spent. This w winter. That's a pretty good, again, I say he's good with words. I think he is. I mean, that's a pretty good. You have some things to work on, I have some things to work on. That's a pretty good way to, to try to mend the bridge. Well, look, you guys hate me, and I know that, but there's a little. Good dialogue, but can't deliver. That might be true. Bit of hutch in all of us. Could be, it could that. be how he says Think it. Think about who played this game. Maybe that's who should win the money. I'm done now. All right. Well, housemates. Let's call it's it time what to it catch your is. Time to catch your bear. I can talk. Housemates. All right, One here we go. One, Who's winning this? Well, it's got to be Matt, right? I mean, <laughs> it'd be crazy if they had somebody else win and then told me it was fake. It's got to be Matt. Remember, all decisions are final. All right, fine. Fine. I mean, there's no point in this. I mean, it's Matt. Why would you do a show where everyone's an actor except you and you're not gonna win? And everyone's voting Hutch. A surprising amount of you are voting Hutch. Makes no sense why Hutch would win. I missed clues. I missed clues. What clues have I missed? I would love if they had Hutch win. I think that'd be really funny. Housemates, I'll call on you one at a time. Please stand up. Explain to us why you voted the way you did and then reveal your vote. Ashley, let's begin with you. I believe that he is the only one that has any potential. One vote, touch. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Ashley. Kip. Potential, wow. Wow. Well, this was not a very hard decision, I have to say. It has to be mad. This person made me laugh. He made me cry. And he protected me when I really needed it. And my vote is for Matt. Good. Don't break his heart there. That'd One be such Hutch. a rough heartbreak. One vote, Matt. Molly. Although Hutch did make him cry. Um, I chose this person because no matter what the situation, he could always lighten the mood just by opening up his mouth. Ralph. Brian. Oh, poor Matt. Gina. Um, 
Well, I'd like to say that I have respect for the fact that all of you made it this far. But I did vote for the candidate who I feel never lost sight of the true focus of why they were here, which is to play the game. And um, I vote for the Hutch. Really? <laughs> oh, jeez. Two votes for Hutch. That's a crazy thing that to say before for that. Earl, please. <clears throat> I voted for the man that I think is squared away Don't and struck, period. Yeah, okay, now it's the last Matt. one. It's gonna be Hutch or Matt. Don't tell me it's Hutch. Two votes for Hutch, two votes for Matt. Or they tie it up one with Brian. Brian. Oh no, she's gonna vote Hutch. It's Kristen Wiig's character. Lastly, we'll ask Dr. Pat, and potentially, this could they be slept the together. decided vote. Unless there's a three-way tie. So is it really gonna be Hutch? Thing. Is it really Hutch? Dr. Pat. I feel like the person that I voted for is the most real. The person who has been not only true to himself, but true to all of us, and um, deserves this the most. Matt finds out the truth. Next Son time of on the a season bitch. finale of the Joe Schmo Show. <laughs> God damn it. But don't worry, we're gonna watch. Obviously, we're not fucking gonna wait after seeing that. Are you kidding me? Last time, we left Matt and the actors at the final ceremony, just about to announce the winner of Lap of Luxury. This could be the deciding vote. Tonight, the big reveal. Matt will finally learn the truth. Okay. For the first time, I'm starting to... Really American Idol in us this. What's happening? What is this dream sequence? The hell? How is he going to react? Is he going to be pissed at us because we lied to him and we deceived him? His like entire reality is going to completely flip around on him. Anything could happen. I'm feeling a little woozy. I should probably drink more alcohol. Oh! Gunshots? <laughs> what a change Gentlemen, in tone. The decision has been made. Just for us to come back to this? That was a weird edit. Hutch. Okay, here we go. Two votes for Matt, one for Brian. We're back. Lastly, we'll ask Dr. Pat, and potentially, this could be the deciding vote, unless there's a three-way tie, so we'll have to see. Dr. Pat. God, it's been so long. I feel like the person that I most voted real. for is the most real. The person who has been not only true to himself, but true to all of us. My heart and, is going. Um, deserves this the most. And um, also who gave me three consecutive orgasms. <laughs> I like to vote for the Hutch. No Hutch, the way. Not the three the consecutive orgasms line. Luxury. Wow, they really gave it to him. They're joking. So he loses. He loses and then they break it to him? <laughs> what? Wow. Such a strange play for the show. Matt's trying to fake smile through it. There's no way he's actually happy for him. He more wow. can't believe it. Well, I guess we broke that. What? Woo! All right, hold on. Everyone, one second, please. We have oh. a problem. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's some lol shit. One second. One second, Hutch. I'm sorry. We just found out the ballots were harvested. Listen, I just got a call. This background didn't check out. Yeah, there's a riot outside the Capitol right now. All right, I'm sorry for the interruption. Um, what happened? Stop the count. Hutch, we're gonna have to uh, reset. There has apparently been a major violation of the rules. It means someone in this room is not who they say they are. So before what? we go any further, does anyone have anything they'd like to say? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> What does that even mean? At this point, you have to question reality, right? Because no way they get that call in right now. You have to be questioning the legitimacy of this. <laughs> Dr. Pat's actually Kristen Wiig. And we're on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Next, the moment you've waited all season for. 
someone in this room is not who they say they are. Oh, it's everybody. Oh, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm very slow right now. They're, <laughs> I understand now what they're setting up for is that everybody isn't who they say they are except Matt. I am so dumb. I am so dumb that I didn't understand that's what they were saying. I get it now. I'm smart. Does anyone have anything they'd like to say? I was so bought into the show. Cut that out of the YouTube video, true. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm Rickety Cricket. My name's not The Hutch. My name is David Hornsby. And I'm an actor, I live in Los Angeles. You're kidding me, you have ruined this whole show. But well, don't blame me. Ask him. This is Ask such me a... what? What about him? I like this breakdown. I don't know what you're talking about. Please. Don't tell me Kip's an actor. All right, I'm, I'm an actor too. And, uh... <laughs> oh, the straight voice comes on. <laughs> I like this breakdown way more than the jury duty one. I will give Joe Schmo over jury duty. I love the slow breakdown. They are breaking his brain right now. I wasn't honest about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know your what? Your brain has it's to not be just so me and him. You know, everyone else here is just, you know, come on, guys, raise your hand if you're an actor as well. Please. I mean, come on. Let's be honest about this. What? Matt? <laughs> Every <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Oh God, dude. Matt, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Matt, are you an actor? Everything I told you about my life and my family what? and me is all true. <laughs> my name is every He's gonna have a panic attack. Are you an actor, you? dude? Are you an actor? Are you an actor? Say Everything yes. Hold the phone. Are you an actor? Tell me, just say it. Just say it. What? God, what? Oh, dude, the way the fact he wasn't really saying hard. that. Someone Matt. fill me in. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> come here, come here. There's something we've been meaning to tell you. What's that? Oh God, dude. I feel like I understand why Jury Duty did do it the way they did now, actually. Actually, after seeing this, I think I understand why Jury Duty did it the way they did, because I think it just breaks anybody's brain. Like they actually might have a full on panic attack, which it looks like he's currently having. The only real thing on this reality show is you. Oh, okay, so the same God. line though. <laughs> this is better TV, that's true. That's not, that's not completely true, that's not completely true. What? Because the prizes are also real as well. Yes. And in fact, they're all yours. <laughs> all right, give him the 100K, yep, he deserves the 100K, yep. Same thing as Ronald, give him the 100K. 100K back then too, wow. Remember, I mean, I, Matt, you remember the spa vacation you gave to Dr. Pat? Yes. That's yours. Remember the trip to Tahiti that you thought you didn't win? Yeah. That's yours. <laughs> well, they showered the him with prizes. TV. But finally, and certainly not least, this check <laughs> made out to you for $100,000. God, his voice. Oh my God, I can't his voice cracks more than me on a Monday Matt, after I think drinking. I owe you an explanation. <laughs> Matt, everything, everything you experienced in this house, from your housemates to the game results to the eviction votes, it was all very carefully planned and brought to life by these amazing 10 actors and hundreds of very hardworking people. All for you. It was all for you, buddy. <laughs> There's no way you're not just blacked out right now. You gotta be blacked out. None of this is gonna be remembered the next day. You actually can't fathom how much that would break your brain. Like, I mean, it's fun to think about, but like, actually, it would fuck you up. It would legitimately fuck you up. I guess $100,000 makes wait, 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 it seem wait, wait. better, but. Ask me now that where I want, where I'm gonna go. Where are you gonna, gonna go? go? I'm going to Pittsburgh! <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, even, we can pull up after, I'm pretty sure Ronald even said from jury duty that he had about a month of psychosis. He couldn't process if it was real and he kept calling James. 
<laughs> to tell him if it was real or not. What it is, is that you're now the star of your own TV show. <laughs> <laughs> we searched far and wide all over America to find the warmest, kindest, most genuine man we could. And that man is going to go from being the nice guy next door to TV's brightest new star. And that guy yeah. is yeah. Matt Kennedy Gould. Yeah. Little did they know Ronald was coming up is, next. You know, I just had to say while well, everyone's quiet, like, you know, and I was gonna say this anyway when I thought you were all who you said you were. Um, you know, I went, I went to a basketball game. You know, I was having a hard time. And I went to a game, you know, in a bad neighborhood at home. And, you know, I just, I walked in there and there was the casting director, you know, saying, do you I want to be on him up from a pickup TV game? show, you know? <laughs> and, like, of course, you all know me. I don't know you, but you I kind of like that more, though, than the jury duty of doing a casting call. I think it's kind of fun just going into a random rec room and picking up a dude and <laughs> saying you want to do a TV show. <laughs> so, of course, you know, I got on the camera that day, and I messed around and just had fun. And, and he's got the schmooze. The whirlwind began. And, um, oh. you know, what it is with the most amazing thing about it all is, is that there's, there's people out there, He's you know, people who the saw things in me that sometimes I can't see in myself. We know? all saw it. We all saw it, man. <laughs> we all saw it. You're a hell of a guy. Lock we up, love you. We love you. <laughs> oh. so okay, that's what I like to see. I like to see that Ashley was crying because Ashley was the one in the hot tub way earlier on that actually seemed like she genuinely liked him. I'm happy to see her crying and being happy. And I feel bad if I did anything to her. <laughs> he's crying. Yes, he's the crybaby. Idiot. I couldn't fucking believe the Hutch one, man. <laughs> I couldn't believe Hutch one either. That was crazy. I, I tried to be gracious about it, but I thought, this asshole after everything he won. Are you kidding me? I'm cold as hell. I knew it. I knew that fucking smile at the end for Hutch was fake. It had to be. How could you be happy? Earl, man, tell me, please, were you in the Marines? Everything I told you on this show was absolutely the true part of my life. I am me, but I'm an actor. Okay. Okay, I remember someone in chat saying that too. The Earl guy actually was in the Marines. I'm Frank Jones. Frank, meet Frank. <laughs> Can I meet all of you again now? <laughs> Brian, what's your real name? Brian, Brian Keith Frank. Etheridge. Brian, Brian Etheridge, thank you. Your name is? Steve Ireland. Steve. And I think you scared me more than I scared you. <laughs> I handled the hell out of him up in that room. <laughs> That's what he told us. I'm Ryan Raddatz, man. That's Ryan Raddatz. Handled Ralph. the hell out of him. Ralph Garman, okay? I'm Nikki Davis. Nikki Davis. Nikki Davis. Okay. I'm Nick Davis. Nick Davis. Nick Davis. I'm Adam David Hornsby. David Hornsby, <laughs> you smelly bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Molly. Angela Dodson. <laughs> I see the accents break too. This is your cast, man. Dude, are you at least gay? No. <laughs> He's not gay. <laughs> oh, so now you're gonna hug him and kiss him? Wow. <laughs> Ashley. Melissa, Bob, <laughs> <laughs> not gay? She's not Duh. a bitch. No, she's not. Get over here. <laughs> you were so bitchy on the show, though. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Dr. Pat is not a doctor. No, no. She never was. Kristen Wiig, <laughs> baby. Kristen Wiig. Well, it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Future now, way famous person. Be, I can't believe it. I can't freaking I just need to tell it. you now, and I'll be telling you this for the remainder of the time we spend together, I'm not a big tool. I know you kept saying what a tool <laughs> I am. I, I'm really no, a very nice guy. I don't buy it, Ralph. I bet you must be and thinking. And we're really not romantically encumbered. No. <laughs> so there's a chance for us. <laughs> <laughs> He's still no, horny, even after the grand. facade is off. All this for me, man. I this is all for you. All for you. Now, you must be thinking, what were these guys thinking and doing and saying while they're all busy pretending to be other people? <laughs> So we put together some clips of how we all really feel about you. Watch this. Okay. Got like an immemorial. Matt Kennedy Gould is a good man. You know, I, I feel like we could be... This feels like he died. ...friends, and uh, I just feel like he's just an earnest guy. Matt, I apologize for any anything we put you through. You understand, all right? He's the sweetest thing. I mean, he is the sweetest. Bless his heart, you know? That's all I, I, I just look at him and I'm like, 
my gosh, we already love you. <laughs> I do think that you are probably one of the most amazing guys that I've ever met. And you're very cute too. Those eyes, I could totally get lost in them. There's a chance. All I have to say is if this were a real reality show, you'd probably be in trouble. Matt, I love you. Even though you're you almost an amazing my neck? person, and you've surprised everyone on this project with how big your heart is and what an amazing, genuine person you are. Please tell me he's doing well for himself. The whole world, and I just want you to know that you deserve every great thing that's going to happen to you into your life. I love you. <laughs> Matt, I got to tell you, I threw my best at you, and you never really batted an eye. You took it all in. Uh, in good humor, and I was impressed by that. You kept your cool, and I appreciate that. Mostly because you're oh, bigger than me, crying. and I don't want you to throw a punch. Matt said, I don't not even here for the money. I just kind of wanted to come hang. And we were like, oh, God, he's just great. He's really sweet, really, really sweet. Matt's a, a, a he's They're a, really he's trying to make a case. It's almost as if they know that Ronald is beloved in all of a fucking world right now, and they're like trying to make a case for Matt holding the spot. Got Ronald it. still has my heart. Nice we try. We each took our, our opportunity to sort of, within character, tell him how much we really liked him, but the words that we were using were our words. We're all blown away by who you are, by your personality, by the choices that you're making, you're a great person. Really great person. Okay, yeah, this is what I was asking before. I was hoping this scene was, for the most part, real. Even though a straight man is doing a gay man who's also Filipino when he's not either of those things, but uh, at least they were the real words. I mean, Matt Kennedy Gould is maybe, he's top five of the nicest guys I've ever met in my life. I mean, he's, he's a, just a great guy. I mean, he's a wonderful, wonderful guy. I wanna say this to Matt, Matt, you uh, genuinely, I'm your friend. I would be this guy's friend anywhere. <laughs> God, he's crying out his forehead. This man is going through it. It's all for you, man. It's all for you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. You deserve it. You deserve it. Matt, tonight you're going to be spending some time getting to know the real us as we kind of hang out here at the mansion. We're going to, still going to live We're in the lap party. of luxury, at least for a little while. But tomorrow night, you're going to find yourself in the true lap of luxury because you're going to be, you're going to be in my lap as we take you to the Spike TV kickoff party that's going to be held at the one and only Playboy Mansion. Oh. 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 We thought that was something you might enjoy. Yeah, he's so horny, he will love it. Right oh, up his alley. Man. <laughs> oh, I have nothing to say. It's the most. <laughs> come on, it's un freaking believable. Or also, like, I can't wait to go too. I can't believe Kip's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, neither can we. I've been spending some time with him. Yeah. I can't either. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now that you, you've got this money? You've got your own TV show. Hell, the sky's the limit for you. What are your plans? God, right now I just want to uh, see my mother and my. Father yeah, you tell about and this. my sister and my nieces and nephews and my boys, Racer and Jim, um, every other one of my basketball friends. I mean, I just okay, want you to can't see that many people, Matt. That's just too many people to see at once. You, you're barely going to give any of them time. All right, pick the favorites. I just for a while, I just want to go home. <laughs> Well, not just yet, not just yet. We gotta go to the mansion first. Yeah, we're gonna get laid first. Or you see your family, we are talking to some bitches first, all right? We know you've been horned up this entire show. You've made that abundantly clear. Let's go get you some ass. This was, this was Matt Central. This is how we tracked every movement you made all over the mansion. Not the entire in the time. Right no, not in the bathroom. Were they in no. a garage? We gave you a little private time, but every other moment was pretty much watched and documented, and we took it, and we schemed, and we figured, and we plotted, and we planned, and we, uh, we wrote a little show around you. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing how much you like to know people's names, you're going to be busy all night long, Matt. <laughs> Because literally it took hundreds of people to pull this off and we could not be happy, really couldn't, that, that you're as happy as you are that we did it for you. Because we never know with you. You never know how you're gonna react, Matt. I can never tell if Matt's face even screams happy, sad, confused, horny. It's always a guess. It's a six-sided die toss. I never know what he's feeling. <laughs> The 
dead to us, man. When Hutch won, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was really odd. Uh, yeah, it's insane. Let's head great. back in the mansion and party. But you can sleep yeah. wherever you want. Yeah. Let's go I drink. Like keep my bed, I like it just. <laughs> and hopefully Molly uh, will join me. <laughs> His riz is insane, he doesn't quit. That's called persistence, baby. You never stop, you keep going. Even after the facade, you already made a few jokes towards her. Keep going, never give up. I think it's safe to say that Matt Kennedy Gould had the experience of a lifetime. Well, we couldn't have done it without Matt. And we're about to sit down with the star of our show. That's right. Matt Kennedy Gould is coming up next. We're gonna ask him some of the juicy questions you've been wondering, and we're also gonna take you behind the scenes on The Joe Schmo Show, The Aftermath. Stick around. Okay, well, I think that's probably a good point to end. Good call, Gunner from the past. Hey, it's Gunner from the future again, just to say that if you want to watch the rest of that episode, you can watch it on my Twitch VODs. I just think it's probably better to be there for extra content instead of uploading it here as well. You can find that link in the description box below. As a final message off, I had a great time watching this show. It's very cool that people love just to watch my reaction to reality shows now. Let me know what show you want to watch next, as you guys seem to like this format of reality show watching, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I mean, you sat here for an hour and a half. Look at you, huh? Sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. I just Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video.